Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to implement camera within the Android application. So to design the application, we use one button and one image view over here. So you can take it from the palette, button and image view. So this is our design part and when we click on the button, camera will open and take a picture and that picture will displayed in this image view so this is our application so this is our design part so go to the directly code part so in coding first of all we need to declare one variable for the camera request code so for that i declare one variable private static private static final int and variable name i took cam and code is so this is the camera request code to open the camera so we take it as a uh, this request code in cm variable and we use to open the camera in upcoming for code so now here first of all initialize the controls so we use one button so button bt is equal to find view by id r dot id dot button and we use one image view as well we can declare here otherwise we use this image view when we require so this is the declaration of button and now on button set on click listener event we are going to implement the code so this is our set, um, button click event so for this event now we are going to open the camera using the intent so to use intent intent cit camera intent object of the intent is equal to new new intent in bracket we are going to pass the parameter and the parameter are media store media store dot we need to apply the action here so we can apply two action over here the first one is the action image capture and second is the action video capture so what is the use of these two methods action image capture is used to capture image and action video capture is used to capture the video so you can take it from this both type you can take it one as per your requirement i am taking as a image capture because i want to capture the image so action image capture so this is your intent and now start your intent by start activity for result activity for result and here you pass the your uh, object of camera intent so CIT and request code of the camera which we uh, uh, mentioned earlier which is CM so these two parameters we pass to the uh, start activity for the result so start activity for the result always return on activity result so we need to capture the result given by start activity for result method for that we need to declare one another method over here so that method is protected wide and here we declare on activity on activity result 
and for this we pass three parameters first one is a integer request code second integer result code and fourth intent data so these three parameters required on activity result so first request code okay so now we declare code for the on activity result so on activity result capture the results produced by the intent so here we declare super dot on activity result as constructor and here we can take in the parameter so first parameter is a request code second parameter is a request result code and third is a data so this is the code and now we do the code if result code request code sorry request code is equal to equal to camera request so camera request code is 188 so using this we can understand user wants to open the camera and camera open and image is captured and if the image is captured we need to save that image into our image view so to save that image into image view we, we, we use bitmap one object of the bitmap bitmap ph is equal to bitmap here data dot get extras using this dot get and in bracket data whatever data returned by the intent so image the data so actually what we did here the image captured by the camera we take it in the on activity result and that image we set it as a data to the bitmap and now here we need to set that image into the image view only so now we can declare image view over here image view iv is equal to find view by id r dot id dot image view and here now we are going to save our image so for that iv dot set bitmap we use iv dot set image bitmap and here we just pass the object of bitmap where we captured that image so like this way you can use the camera and capture the image and display it to the image view so we completed with our code so now the one thing is that as we using the camera application as we using the camera application that's why we we are not able to run this application into the emulator so for that you need to connect your physical device so here i already connected my the physical device and you need to run the application into the physical device to check the output 
so how to connect the physical device we will see in the next video you can uh, check the next video to connect physical device to your android studio and run the application so using this uh, physical device uh, we run this application and see the output so to check the output just click on the run button and see the output So see here, application is successfully deployed into the uh, in physical device. So click on the open camera. Complete the action using by camera. Take the photograph of something and just click on OK. This image is displayed into this the image view. So this is the output of the camera entity. Hope you understand. Thank you for watching.